Factair's Safe Air Ranger instruments are designed to provide an easy and accurate method for testing breathing air supplies. This training session features the F6100 Safe Air Monitor, which provides a continuous breathing air quality monitoring facility for airline systems up to 10 bar. The instrument can also be used to test high-pressure charging systems when used in conjunction with the F3002 high-pressure regulator. Further details on the correct piping arrangement for high-pressure testing are available from Factair. The F6100 is provided with a wall bracket to allow you to mount the instrument. The test location needs to be as close to the breathing air supply point as possible in a well-ventilated area, free from dust and with a mains power supply available. To install the bracket, mark the hole locations on the wall and check with the spirit level. The instrument is provided with suitable fixings to secure the bracket to the wall. Once you've installed the bracket, mount the F6100 in place and connect the power supply. To switch on the instrument, press and hold the green button located on the right-hand side of the unit for approximately 3 seconds. The unit will initially display a splash screen with the firmware and hardware versions installed. It will then automatically calibrate the oxygen cell against the surrounding atmosphere. Once this calibration is completed, the unit will proceed to the home screen. At this point, you can then connect the breathing air supply to the air inlet. This training video is for the F6100 connected to an airline system. When checking an airline system, connect it to the air supply to be tested. Fit the appropriate adapter to the tester first and then connect the supply hose to the adapter. Alternative adapters for the most popular BA connections are available from Factair. Please note that the tester can be piped to any pressure between 2 and 10 bar. If the unit is overpressurized, it will automatically shut down and display an overpressure warning. It will then need returning to the manufacturer for checking and resetting. Please note when the unit is first supplied, or has been disconnected from the air supply for any period of time, then you need to allow at least 30 minutes for the instrument's cells to have sufficient time to purge, adjust and provide accurate readings of the supplied air conditions. The F6100 has built-in electrochemical cells for carbon monoxide and oxygen and an infrared LED sensor for carbon dioxide. The moisture is measured with an electronic dew point meter. For measuring oil aerosols, a Draeger impactor is connected through a test port and the degree of oil contamination is displayed after a 5-minute test flow has been passed through it. On the home screen, the unit displays the date and time together with the current reading for carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, oxygen and moisture. A tick or a red exclamation mark next to each of these confirms whether they are meeting the selected breathing air standard. Details on how to choose the breathing air standard and configure this display are provided during this presentation. A stylus pen is provided for use with the touch screen. To enter the sub-menu for the configuration settings or to perform a Draeger impactor or tube test, press the arrow key in the top right-hand corner. The sub-menu will then display the date when the test port was last used and the result. The two buttons at the bottom of the screen allow you to review previous tests and enter the configuration and test port menu. To check the configuration settings, press the right-hand button. The top row of buttons allow you to configure the date, time and units of measure. The bottom row of buttons allow you to choose between a Draeger oil impactor test and a tube test. For breathing air tests, the standard option is to select the Draeger oil impactor. However, this test port can also be used with a range of other Draeger tubes and these can be selected by pressing the bottom right hand icon. This training session will be based on the impactor. 
At the end of this video, there are details on the Draeger tubes which can be used with the instrument. To complete an impactor test, press the bottom left hand button. The instrument will now begin a one minute purge sequence, during which time an airflow will be passed through the test port. This clears contaminants from previous tests and ensures that a representative sample is being tested. Once the purge has finished, the Draeger impactor should be inserted into the test port and tightened firmly. Ensure the impactor has an intact protective seal. This seal must remain in place for the duration of the test. Press the button in the top right hand corner to start the test. The unit will now return back to the home screen and the test time remaining will be displayed together with the carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, oxygen and moisture content. The unit can be left until the test time has elapsed. Once the test is complete, the reading from the impactor can be entered. Remove the impactor and peel off the protective seal. The impactor incorporates a series of three horizontal rows of nozzles. Any oil present in the sample in an aerosol form and greater than a concentration of 0.05 mg per cubic meter will be deposited on the display screen as a series of small dots. Each of the three rows has a different distance between nozzles and their spacing is calibrated to 0.1, 0.5 and 1.0 mg per cubic meter. When the dots on each row form a continuous line, then it identifies that the concentration levels for that line have been exceeded. For this particular test, there are no dots present, so the oil concentration level is less than 0.05 mg per cubic meter. In breathing air standard EN12021, the maximum permissible level is 0.5 mg per cubic meter, so we know for this test it's a pass. The following pictures, however, are examples of tests where there has been oil present. The first picture shows dots present on each of the three rows, but as you can see, none of the three rows have joined into a continuous line, so we know the oil concentration level present is greater than 0.05, but less than 0.1 mg per cubic metre. This would therefore be a pass on a breathing air test to BSEN12021. On this second picture, the bottom row of dots have formed into a continuous line, but the middle and top rows are still individual dots. Therefore, the concentration level for this test is greater than 0.1, but less than 0.5 mg per cubic meter. Again, this would still be a pass, but only just if it was a breathing air test to BSEN12021. On this third picture, both the bottom and middle row have formed into continuous lines. Therefore, the concentration is greater than 0.5, but less than 1.0 mg per cubic meter. And this would be a failure for a breathing air test to BSEN12021. On this final picture, all three rows have formed continuous lines, and the concentration level is now in excess of 1.0 mg per cubic meter. And once again, this would be a failure for a breathing air test to BSEN12021. Select the image from the screen which matches the results on the impactor. Once you've selected the image, the result is locked in the instrument's data log and can be reviewed in the sub-menu. By pressing the Review Test button, you can also see the last test results for the other tube tests. Configuring the instrument The instrument is provided with the F6100 online configuration program on a DVD and this can also be downloaded and installed from the Factair website. Once installed on your computer, run this program and then with the USB cable provided, connect your PC or laptop to the instrument. By clicking on the Read from the F6100 button, you'll be able to download the current configuration settings for the instrument. You'll then be able to review these and update the settings to suit how you want the instrument to operate. In the Settings column, you can choose how long a commissioning delay you want, 
which will then allow time for the sensors to stabilize before the alarm is activated. The data logging interval allows you to choose how frequently test results are being saved to the instrument's SD card. The time between oil test reminders allows you to define how frequently you want the instrument to display an on-screen reminder for an oil impactor test. The instrument has a preset range of standards available which can be selected from a drop-down list. At the bottom of this list, there are options to then configure the internal buzzer as well as a volt-free output for an external alarm. Should you wish the instrument to display test results from external sensors, then there are two 4 to 20 milliamp sockets available which can be configured by the user. Once you have input all your settings, you can update the instrument by clicking on the Right to F6100 button. Supplementary information As well as the Draeger Impactor, the F6100 is also compatible with the Draeger oil, sulphur dioxide, nitrous fumes and polytest tubes. These are available from Factair together with the F2187 Draeger tube tip cutter. To complete a test, from the home screen, first press the arrow in the top right-hand corner to access the sub-menu. Then press the Setup button. You will then be able to press the Tube icon. You will then be able to choose from oil, sulphur dioxide, nitrous fumes or the polytest tube. If you're intending to complete an oil tube test, then you'll need to input the test time. If you can determine with a high degree of certainty the specific compressor lubricant being used, then refer to the test times chart provided on Factair's website marked for the F6100. If you have no knowledge of the type of compressor lubricant being used in the breathing air system, then Factair recommends a 15-minute test as this covers the vast majority of lubricants. Once you've selected which tube you wish to test, the instrument will complete a one-minute purge sequence, during which time an airflow will be passed through the port. This clears contaminants from previous tests and ensures that a representative sample is being tested. Once the purge has finished, the appropriate Draeger tube can be prepared for insertion. Remove both ends using an F2187 tube tip cutter. This ensures a clean cut is made and that glass fragments do not fall into the tube port. When the tube is prepared, insert it into the test port with the arrow pointing away from the instrument and tightened firmly. The test will proceed as previously described and at the end of it you will be prompted to enter the result from the tube. For the nitrous fumes and sulphur dioxide tubes, enter the result using the numeric pad. Then press the arrow in the top right-hand corner. For the oil and polytest tubes, select the appropriate pass or fail icons. The result will then be displayed on the final test results screen and stored in the instrument's memory. Reviewing the test results. Test results are recorded in a CSV format on the instrument's SD card. A Microsoft Excel spreadsheet program is provided on the DVD and on the Factair website, which can be used to interrogate the results. Once you've loaded the software, first check you've enabled the macros. The next step is to import the test results from the SD card. From the menu, click on the Import Logging Data button. The results will then automatically be imported onto your PC. By clicking on the Maintain BA Standards, you can choose which test standard you wish to compare the results against. There's also the option to enter your own custom settings. Left-click on the required standard and then click on the Menu button. You'll now be able to click on Run an Exception Report and you'll be prompted to confirm you've selected the correct standard and the date range. Please make sure you enter the dates in the same format as prompted.
The report will then run automatically and return all the results which were outside the selected breathing air test standard.